need more souls. The Azure Knight staggered to his feet. I had inflicted a mortal blow, one that no human could survive, and yet, as the Azure Knight faced me, I could see my attacks hadn't even slowed him. Now, I don't think that's quite true. If I stayed here, I knew I would fight until death finally claimed me. My heart was consumed by terror and despair, and my limbs grew weak with fear. Why would I run? Heck yeah, let's fight! The outcome of the battle was inevitable. The inhuman knight charged at me like a beast, and exhausted as I would, I was, I could not avoid the blow. I heard the crunching of bone as he slammed into me, and the world blurred and dimmed around me. The next instant, a dull pain laced through my skull. The Azure Knight gripped my head with his massive hand. The Nightmare will devour your soul. I could feel myself, my very essence being devoured by an irresistible evil. Everything began to grow dim, and then... When I awoke, I was alone. My memories were clouded and muddled. I could not even remember the location of the massacre. To this day, I sometimes hear the voice of the Azure Knight calling out to me from the darkness of night. But when I turn, there's nothing there. Was he even real? Or just a nightmare? Hello team, welcome back. I decided that, uh, since we got completely wrecked by Nightmare canonically, that we are now Laura Lily MK7. We are moving up in this world. Depending on how you... Thieves had been stealing from a black pepper farm, and I accepted a quest to apprehend them. I waited quietly in the field for a few hours before I heard several sets of footsteps approaching. As I stood up to challenge them, one suddenly attacked me from behind? How'd they get behind me? I thought I was in an ambush. The ambush, the ambush? Battle one. Fight. Oh, yeah. Damage from throws hurt more. Okay. Ooh. Quick knock on the leg. I delivered the thieves to the farm's owner. They were in fact laborers who had been working here. The owner was clearly pleased and gave me a generous amount of expensive spice. I do like spice. I think it did something for me. High quality black pepper. Oh no, I lost that quest that was way out there. Dang. No, there's no point now. Right over there. Right over here. Sort of strength. Bounty for scoundrels. And sort of strength. Ooh, a tournament. How much does it cost? 2,000. I'll find a way to teleport closer. That's just straight up Josie. Sir Kittle. 
Yeah, let's get a few of Sir Josie. Or Sir Josie. Josie. Get a few Josies. Items. Explore the surrounding area. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. A stands in your way. Level 15. I want to change my weapon. As much as I like Astroth, he just does not work against NPCs. He's Tanfa. It's only a level 15 warrior, so it should be fine, hopefully. I think I'm catching a cold. Your opponent's Fight. combos do more damage. Defeat the opponent. Letting you die yet. Right. I wasn't done with them yet. Can I have like better tonfos, maybe? Yeah, kinda. They're slightly evil, or slightly better. And I made it without much of a problem at all. Shimazu Clan Tournament. The Shimazu, a clan in the southern Kyushu famous for their martial art prowess, were holding a tournament. Your opponent starts battle with one bar of the Soul Gauge Field. Defeat them! <clears throat> Sounds good. I saw a crowd gathered around a town bulletin board. I asked what the commotion was about, but was told the Shimazu clan, rulers of Satsuma province, were looking for warriors who could display their prowess in a private tournament. You look pretty tough. Anyone welcome to join, go on. Give it a shot, it won't cost you anything. Wanting to test myself, I signed up, and was immediately assigned to my first match. I made my way to the specified arena. <clears throat> Yuck. I am not going to make it. Battle one. Fight. Yeah. 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 Come on now! Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Battle one! Fight! Battle two! One, two, three, four. Battle one! Fight! 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 Battle one! What? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> can't so go all easy. Okay. After I won my first bout, another opponent was sent to face me. Whoa, you really won. Way to go! Alright then, I'm cheering for you on the next one. Turning away from my sole fan to concentrate on my opponent, I assumed a ready stance. <clears throat> battle oh. one. Fight. Yeah. Ah. The battle Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm doing like no damage per smack. I made it through the second match, and a third opponent was called to fight me. The number of spectators is growing. The person I was up against also had the skill to make it this far. I would have stayed focused and aware. We bowed to each other and readied our weapons. I would do good to do that. Maybe that's what they were trying to say. I would do good to stay aware, stay focused. Maybe I completely misread it because I'm not feeling great. <laughs> Battle one. <clears throat> Oh yeah, my damage is much higher now. I had fought my way into the semifinals. Spectators thronged the arena, cheering their favorite fighters. I've been rooting for you, Lil Laura Lily MK7, from the start. Heck, I'm the one who told her to join the tournament. It seemed I had uh, attracted no small number of admirers. With their shouts to spur me on, I readied myself. It took me a while to ready myself. So the battle charge, okay. I'm already in Soul Charge. To the wall! Or not. To the wall! That's a cool way for that done. Go down. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know I could do that. How did you do that? Oh, that's awesome. I gotta remember that one. Nice. I made a really stupid bump move, but I guess it's good. Let's end it with this. You win. A group of important looking samurai, Shimazu clan retainers, sat in the row of stools by the arena, waiting for the match to begin. It was time for the final fight of the tournament. I had come this far, I took a fighting stance, determined to win. Alright, we're permanently sold charge. Uh, oh, I'm a fool. Too slow. Okay, so I can't do it like that. Boom. Not yet. Battle two. Fight. Two. 
But he's just gonna stand in touch with that. That's a cool move. I like that. You did it, Laura Lily. I always knew I had a good eye for fighters. The judge called for the fight. And the crowd roared. I was the victor. A samurai seated near the center of the group stood up and walked over to me. That was a marvelous display of skill. The Lord wishes to hire you if you are not bound to another. What say you? I declined, stating that I was on a personal mission. The old samurai sighed and handed me a heavy sack of coin as a reward. With someone like you with us, alas... Send word if you have a change of heart. The gates of Shimazu Clan remain open to you. Sorry, but uh, currently I want to join the Schwartzwind. I am given the choice at the end of this. Um, there's nowhere else to go. Let's go back here. What do you got, recruitment agency? Any new fancy friends? The Last Angel. Okay, so like, oh, okay, weird. That's very strange. Okay, well, sorry, I can't get the last angel. I gotta use Josie up. Wait, could I have sent Josie in for the tournament for me? Is that allowed? <laughs> Dang. Um. Oh yeah, let's try to. Think of how to move. I guess I'll go here. Looks like there's a shop right next to Can I go to that shop? No. What's this? Search of strength. Okay. I think I'm on to the main quest again. Wait. What was, what was that storybook? Um, Tu Cheng! I guess. Rumors of Do Jang. Okay. Hey you! You're the one that was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the official here, aren't you? That was quite a gripping performance. The man who approached me appeared to be a peddler from Korea. He described himself as an avid spectator of martial arts, traveling the land in search of famous training halls, and he sold his wares along the way. I'm not really the fighting type myself, you see. Which is why I have so much respect for those of power. I may not be one to judge, but you seem much stronger than the master of the famous Dojang in my hometown. Actually, that might be interesting. Why not go a few rounds with him? The merchant told me about the Siongs, a family located just beyond the gates of Jirisen, his hometown in Korea. The current master of the Dojang was Hang Myung. Hailed by those who knew him as a god among martial arts, his family had earned the trust of the king and were known as the greatest martial artists in the country. He was also known to wear kitty ears for some reason. <laughs> there is not a soul <laughs> in that town who doesn't know that family. They're the best of the best. It won't be easy to beat them, but you're clearly no pushover either. So it should be a good fight. If you're up to it, head over to Xiong Dojang. The merchant chuckled as he bid farewell and went his way. Cool. See? I would have missed whatever this is. Is that it? Alright, is that Xiong? Okay. The Xiong Dojang. Sure. <clears throat> Arrived the destination. Jirisan, the Xiong Dojang. 
With the merchant's words in mind, I visited the Xiong Dojang. Unfortunately, the infamous warrior I had hoped to meet was absent, so instead I found myself sparring with some of his pupil. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. After arriving in Jirison, I made my way to Dojang, the merchant had mentioned. The Xiong Dojang was... er, the Xiong Dojang. I was greeted by a pupil and told him the reason for my visit. Unfortunately, my master is currently away. He may be back in the evening, but he will be leaving on another journey early in the morning. I'm afraid I cannot let a stranger into the Dojang without my master's permission. Perhaps if you come back in about ten days from now. I had other things to do, so I couldn't afford to stay in town long enough for his master to return. Detecting my disappointment, the people look sympathetic. I can't let you into Dojang, but many of the younger pupils are changing outside. Since you've come all this way, you're more than welcome to join them. Viewing this as a prime opportunity to learn more about the Xiong style, I thanked the man and made my way over to where the pupils were training. Hey everyone, I'm here to beat you down! I know you're all training here, but this is my time. I am coming here as your aggressor, oppressor, and or beater, I don't know. I bet you! Oh, can't do anything because switching enemies. I see how it is. I know what's going on here. And that was the moment when I realized that off of the low, I could do whatever else. I didn't know Tom had such an easy, like, standing death move. <laughs> After completing my sparring match with the Xiong Dojang pupils, I set off towards the end. You were there! Wait a minute! I hadn't realized there was somebody nearby. Caught unawares, I took a defensive stance. There's no need to be alarmed. I am Xiong Han Myung, master of the Xi Xiong Dojang. It seems that... It seems he had seen my sparring matches with his pupils on the way back to the Dojang. You are quite an impressive fighter. Only my most advanced pupils were able to provide you a challenge. I am right to assume you are a traveler? I told, I told Hong Yong of the merchant and the reason for paying visits to the Dojang. I apologize for not being able to spar with you myself. Should you ever come to the area again, please pay a visit to the Dojang. Also, having seen how capable you are, I have something to ask of you. Young Myung asked me to inform him if I ever saw or heard anything about his only daughter, who had run away from home. He said her name was Seong Mina, and that she was proficient in fighting techniques based around... Or ba passed down from generations in the Seong family. He even went as far as to say her skills surpassed his own. She ran away from home not too long ago, and left a note saying she's headed west in search of the Sword of Salvation. I tried to stop her, but she's a stubborn one. Once she sets her mind on something, there is no convincing her otherwise. I don't know where she gets that foolishness from. He spoke harshly of his daughter, but his expression on his face showed how concerned he was for her well-being. I won't be able to rest until she's back here, so I can teach her a proper lesson. I realize it's unfair for me to ask this of someone I just met, but please, help me find my daughter. Okay, there you go. That only took me four tries. <laughs> to attempt to speak. Is she out in the sea? Uh, 
Where are you? Insert of strength. Bounty for scoundrels. Okay, sure. On Gro's orders, we made our way through the desert, where once again the two qualifiers appeared. This time, however, Valtro had changed considerably. Who? <laughs> I'm sorry, I completely don't remember him. The wind does not bode well. Pick up the pace. Hey, your breathing is ragged. Can you continue? Be honest and say you're struggling. I thought so. And it seemed they did too. Enemies are approaching. Ready yourself. It has been a long time, Gro. So you still haven't washed your hands of that pathetic little group of yours. What the fool. You think... You don't know beauty when you see it. If you still insist on opposing Lord Aswell, I will have to strip your flesh from your bones here and now. Try it. The ones who cannot escape death are traitors. Like Aswell and you. Always barking, aren't you? Come, Valtro. Show them the results of our experiments. Shut your mouth. Do not give me orders! Oh, I go, oh, I'm going to use the power Lord Aswell has given me, 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 to crush you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Your opponent's gone berserk, getting increased attack power, reduced health below a certain level to 10. Ooh, it's kind of cool. What? Something unexpected has happened. Raw, you c cannot hurt me. Valtro is a large man, but the strength and stamina he showed now was unnatural. Now you know the power of ascended warriors. This is the fruit of Lord Aswell's research. Lord Aswell told me about his experiments on you, bro. He said you were a great help to him. Lord Aswell spoke highly of you. You were the first subject infected with mal malfestation to be able to retain their sense of self after all. I see. Now, Valtro, unleash your full power. Repay your debt to Lord Aswell. I would love it if you used your powers too, bro. I'm thrilled at the prospect of observing how our older experiments measure up against our latest masterpiece. Ah, this mission truly is a thing of beauty. Lord Aswell chose me. I have to surpass the human race. When I finally pass the test, he smiled. He gave me his love. I'll crush you with the power as well as gave me. Valtro charged at us with unbelievable speed. Instinctively, I closed my eyes and braced for impact. I don't want to already switch to another body. Huh? There was a dull thud. Valtro cried out in confusion and dismay. Open my eyes. Grow blocking Valtro with only his left arm. Surpass the human race. Is that what Lord Aswell said? Grow's voice was dripping with murderous intent, and the hairs in the back of my neck stood up. I have hair on the back of my neck? I'm a doll! <laughs> Grow's left eye was growing with malicious blood red light. Very well. You wish to know what it's like to surpass the human race? Then know this, outsider. Grrrr! In a flash, Valtro fell to the ground, spurting blood. Deliver this message to Aswell for me. Perform whatever experiments, create whatever soldiers you like. It doesn't matter. All who stand in my way will die. No, this isn't beautiful at all. Danielle and his allies fled into the swirling winds of the glowing sandstorm. Only once they had completely disappeared did Gro relax and his deadly aura gave off a bait.